This video is brought to you by MathGalaxy.com. This is our fractions program which covers these topics. And in this video we'll be looking at adding and subtracting like fractions. To add or subtract fractions, the pieces have to be the same size. In this case, fifths. So the size of the pieces doesn't change and two pieces plus one piece gives you three pieces. So here we're adding fifths and we have eight of them. So we have more than it takes to make a whole, so we use what we know about simplifying fractions. It takes five to make a whole, so, so five of them give us a whole. We have three left over and the size of those pieces are fifths. Now let's look at subtracting fractions. So here the size of the pieces are fifths. We have three give away two and we have one left. So there's three give away two. We have one left. What if you don't have enough pieces to give away? So here the pieces are fourths. We have one but need to give three away. We could give away a total of four holes, but that'd be giving away more than we need to. So what we do in this case is borrow. In whole numbers, if you need more ones, you borrow a 10, which becomes 10 ones. But with fractions, you borrow according to the size that you need, in this case, fourths. And you only need to convert one whole to the pieces. So we take one whole leaving five and we break it up into four fourths. So you borrow according to the size you need. If you need it halves it would become two halves. If you need it thirds it would become three thirds. If you need it fifths it would become five fifths and so on. So now we have a total of five pieces. One we started with, four we borrowed. So if we get three away, we have two left. Excuse me. Uh, so we start out with five, give three away, we have two left. And now we only have five holes and if we give three away, we have two left. Okay, and as usual, we need to reduce the fraction part. What if you don't have any pieces at all to give away? Here we have none, and we need to give a third of a whole away. We can still convert a whole into pieces, so we take one of those holes leaving six and since we need thirds we break it up into three thirds. Okay. So now we have three pieces to give one away we have two left. So we start it with we had three gave one away two left. And now we have six holes give five away we have one left. So that's a quick review of adding and subtracting like fractions. If you want more practice, you can go to mathgalaxy.com. The fractions program has two modes. One talks you through problems step by step. The other only asks for the final answer. And when you exit the final answer mode, it gives you a score which you can print out. And this little creature here is a robot that you earn for each problem that you do that you can use in a maze game called the labyrinth. So this is an example of one of the mazes. So you're guiding a robot trying to collect the treasure and getting out, whoops, and trying to get out safely. So another example, OK. 
Okay, so, and the screen may look a little compressed vertically. And that's because of how the video is being recorded. But in the game, it's a little more uh, square and symmetrical. So another example. So. Another game that comes with the program is a riddles game that's like Wheel of Fortune, where you can have up to three players. For example, here the riddle is why did the elephant paint herself different colors? So you can choose to, uh, or you can try to solve the riddle at the beginning or end of each turn. So player one, let's guess a letter. So A is three fourths plus three fourths, six fourths, which is one and a half. So A should go there. And let's pass on to player two. Let's see, E is one half plus one eighth. So one half is four eighths plus one eighth is five eighths. So E goes there. So you can continue on trying to guess letters in a if you get to a point where you think you can solve the riddle, it's so like here, why do the elephant paint herself different colors? Let's say to hide in the crayons. Okay, so it looks like that worked. And another game is called Bridge the Swamp. where one player, red, is trying to build a bridge in this direction, green is trying to build a bridge in this direction, and the first player to complete, to complete their bridge and block the other player wins. So here red goes first, say that red wants five, so those two should add up to five. And let's say green wants to block with 13 and a quarter. So 5 and 3 fourths looks like it'll give a, an extra quarter with a half. 5 and 7 are 12. So it looks like it'll work. So those are examples of the games that come with the program. This has been a quick review of adding and subtracting like fractions. If you want more practice, you can go to mathgalaxy.com. Thank you for listening.